just going to very lightly just tap. So I'm just going to hold my easel. So I'm just tapping down here, like so. And as you tap, I said slightly angle it across, like so. And we'll make some lovely shapes. Okay, now I'm taking it slightly into to this area here, okay, because um, I want this and it, to get the contrast, okay. So back to my see it, so literally I'm just backwards and forwards. Um, think about think about shape again, and we don't want to we don't want to lose all our colour, okay. So we're working coming down here. So I'm just sort of tapping. Again, I'm holding it slightly at an angle, keep tapping down, so down here, across, probably a bit noisy, you're probably picking up a bit of noise from the tapping of a, oh, yeah, sort of easel, I'm afraid, but bear with me. So I'm just getting some colour on there. So you can see, so basically now we've got one tree coming down here. So I'm going to go in and put some more in there. So I'm going to go into the same colour. Literally I'm just putting this down one way then the other way. And then literally I'm just tapping, pressing up. So I'm slightly pressing these bristles up like so. Okay, come up here, do another one. It's a bit noisy on this uh, cam, on this uh, easel, I'm afraid. But we need to tap quite hard. Okay. So we tap quite hard. Um, I'm putting more paint on. Okay. So it's slightly darker than this, if that makes sense. So, so I'm going over over the top of this one. So it looks like we've got layers. And so on. Okay. So when I do the other side, I'll angle the brush this way. So like so. Like that. Okay now again this last one I want to make even darker. Now I've purposely left little bits of light in here. Can you see the light in there? So I've come out like so, but I'm leaving little bits of light in there because it obviously makes the picture nice. So with this one, I'm just gonna slightly add a little bit more blue in here. Bring this down. Give it a tap. So I'm bringing a lot of paint down and I'm pushing up. Bending the bristles and pushing up. Okay, and then I'm going to do another one here. Same thing. And I'm just like I said, I'm just doing this one slightly over the top of this. So you can see what I'm going. Now, as you all know, that you need dark to show light. Um, so basically, we need this dark because then we're going to highlight obviously with some lighter colours, which is going to make it stand out nicely. So, 